Hello! InstaForex company presents you a series of videos dedicated to work with MetaTrader 5. This video is focused on the Tools window Trade and History. Tools section is a multifunctional window containing several tabs of different purposes. In this video we are going to deal with two interrelated tabs – Trade and History. In the Trade tab, you can monitor opened positions and pending orders, carry out trading operations, close positions totally or partially, remove pending orders, and also see the financial result either on certain positions or on all the positions opened. In the History tab, the information on all trading operations executed is shown. Now let us have a closer look at these tabs. As you can see, the Trade tab comprises the information on all opened positions and pending orders. The list can be sorted by any field. The only thing you need to do is to click on its name. The Trade table includes the following fields. Symbol – denoting financial instruments. Order – the number of a pending order on a trading server, a so-called ticket. Time – exact time and data of opening a position or placing a pending order. Type – type of a position. Buy is a long position or a position for buying. Sell is a short position or a position to sell. The types of pending orders are also demonstrated. Sell stop, sell limit, Sell stop limit for orders to sell and buy stop, buy limit, buy stop limit for those to buy. Volume Volume of a position or a trading operation for a pending order. Price A price at which a pending order will trigger or an opening price. If a position is a result of several trades, this field shows its weighted average price. SL – stop loss level for a position or an order, or zero if stop loss level is not determined yet. TP – take profit level for a position or an order, or zero if take profit level is not set yet. Another field is price, shows the current price of an instrument. Swap – implies swaps accrued in total. Profit – the result on a certain position calculated on the basis of the current price of an instrument. Below the list of open positions, you will find the information on the current condition of your trading account. Balance – the balance of your account without profit and losses of opened positions. Equity – funds available to you after you close all positions at the current price. Margin – Free funds necessary for maintaining the opened positions. Free margin – free funds you can use to open new positions. Margin level – the ratio of funds to margin. Trade result – the total on all the opened positions. If the result on all positions is positive, that means you have earned profit, you will see on the balance line the icon with a green upward arrow. If you have suffered losses, the icon with a red downward arrow. The statuses of pending orders are also displayed, for instance, placed or executed. With the help of context menu, which appears at the right click, and the columns menu, you can show or hide such columns as commission, swap, profit, and comment. The comment field shows the text you can enter at opening a position or placing an order. Moreover, some nodes of the trading server can be left in this field, informing you that your position was closed due to take profit or stop loss. In addition, the context menu contains the following comments. New order – the window of opening a position or placing an order. Close position – close the selected position. In fact, there will appear the same window of opening a position, yet it will contain a corresponding currency pair and the volume necessary to liquidate the position. You can close a position by clicking the Close button or make an opposite to the trade position. 
For instance, you can carry out a sell trade if you have a buy position opened. Modify or delete, a corresponding window will open. You will be able to alter the parameters of stop loss and take profit. If you execute the same comment on the line of a pending order, you will have an additional opportunity to delete an order or to alter the order expiry term. Trailing stop, the menu of setting trailing stop for a position or an order. Volumes, choosing units to show volumes in. Profit, choosing units to show profit in. Report, creating a report on open positions and pending orders. Auto size, switch on, off, automatic adjustment of column size. Grid, on, off. The History tab contains the information on executed trades, orders, placed and removed. There are three modes of viewing the history. Trades only, orders only, trades and orders. Switching between these modes is possible through the context menu. Every operation is marked with a special icon. Blue icons mean buying operations, while red ones selling operations. Rightward arrows signify entering a position, leftward arrows exceeding it. A bullet in the icon points at a pending order. You can look through the history of your trades and orders on a certain instrument in the symbol sub-menu. Readings in the history table are analogous to those in the trading tab. The list of operations made is followed by the result of the executed trades. Just as in case with the trading tab, if the final result is profit, there is an icon with a green arrow in the beginning of the line. If it is loss, there is a red arrowed icon. The context menu enables you to choose the period of which you want to see the history of your operations. You can either choose a standard period or set it manually. The history of your operations can be put onto the chart. In order to see a trade on the chart, drag it with your mouse from the list of operations to the chart of the instrument. If you first press and hold the Shift button, all the trades on the instrument for the chosen period will be put onto the chart.